Now, a key report into parties and social events held at Downing Street during lockdown in the UK last year looks likely to be delayed. Senior civil servant Sue Gray had been due to release her report imminently, but now the police have asked her to only make minimal references to gatherings which they're looking into to avoid prejudicing their investigation. Well, straight to London then, where we can speak to Tyke Enright, who is standing by with all the latest for us. Good to see you, Tyke. I mean, wow, what a week we've all been counting down to. We've been waiting for the Sue Gray report. I have to ask you, I mean, is there ever hope of it seeing the light of day? Who knows, Helena? It has really been a week of mixed signals. We have been told almost every day that this report's publication has been imminent and we end the week in utter confusion. Now, one of the big surprises of the week came on Tuesday when we were told that the police were going to be uh, investigating uh, the allegations that uh, illegal parties were held uh, in Downing Street. And there had been fears at that time that that could delay the publication uh, of this uh, internal civil service report into those very same parties. We were quickly told at the time, police said no, no reason to delay things, but now we've heard actually, yes, please don't uh, reveal details of any potential uh, breaches in the law. So now the choice facing uh, Sue Gray and her civil service team is whether to release the report soon without those key details of potential law breaking or wait however long it takes, probably several weeks, for the police to finish their investigation too. Um, whatever happens, uh, it does feel as if this process of getting to the, the nub, the conclusive evidence of whether the law was actually broken in the holding of these parties is going to be strung out for uh, a prolonged period of time. We don't know exactly how long. Whether, though, that's advantageous for Boris Johnson in his attempts to get past these allegations, to wait for it to blow over, is another question entirely. Tyg, I want to uh, quote Nicola Sturgeon to you, the Scottish First Minister, because she said that this is, quote, getting murkier by the minute. So I wonder then, how does this reflect on, I mean, essentially two key pillars of society, the government and the police? Well, faith in Boris Johnson's government has taken a, a serious knocking uh, during this uh, scandal, which has been running on since uh, the beginning of, of December of last year, when the first uh, allegations of these parties came uh, into, the, uh, into the spotlight. Uh, around two-thirds of people, according to uh, opinion polls here, now want him to resign. There have been questions over you know, the safety uh, of this whole, the transparency, I should say, this whole process, because ultimately it is Boris Johnson's government itself which will decide uh, how much of this civil service report is actually put into uh, the public realm. There has been political pressure from opposition parties upon them uh, to ensure the, 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 the report is published in full. Um, and there are questions, I would say, about whether this latest police intervention offers some level of political cover for uh, not having the full details published now. Many indeed have been questioning here, when it comes to the police, why it's taken them so long to actually investigate. They sat on their hands uh, until this week. They said they were waiting for, uh, or they had no choice other than to investigate when the civil servant Sue Gray passed evidence of potential law breaking to them even though there was evidence in newspapers, there were admissions from Boris Johnson and colleagues that social events did take place. So why did it take them uh, this long to get involved? So you're right to, to point out that there are many uh, claims here that perhaps the two occurrences are quite uh, convenient. Uh, opposition uh, politicians accusing Boris Johnson of using the police uh, as a shield. Uh, and it's hard to uh, get away from the conclusion that certainly this police investigation is offering uh, the shield of time for Boris Johnson for the time being.